Hey guys, this is Kaylin. Today I want to do a room tour of my home office and guest room combo. And I want to share my tips of how to design a multifunctional small room. And I hope you like it. So first of all, let's talk about the space. So my home office and guest room is about 11 feet by 11 feet. Our house is under a thousand square feet, so we only have two bedrooms in this house. And because of that, this room is the only other bedrooms we have, and it has so many functionalities to fulfill. So first of all, this room has to be a home office where we can work on our own projects after work, where we can work at work from home days. And then it has to serve as a guest bedroom when we have guests come over. Ideally, we want it to accommodate up to two people. And last, I want this room to be a craft room or sewing room because I like to do sewing projects from time to time and I want my sewing machines to be very accessible. I wouldn't say it is easy to pack three functionalities into a small room, so I need to prioritize. Since we don't have guests come over very often, I decided this space should be 60% home office, 20% of guest bedroom, and then 20% of my craft room. I want to share the before first. Our house is quite old, so we made quite some updates. Um, I'll put the before picture here. Basically, we removed the carpet, we refinished the hardwood floor underneath, and we also tried to remove the vinyl wallpapers that came with the house, but that did not go well. So instead, we covered the mess with vertical shape laps that I end up really love. I painted the wall in Benjamin Moore Moonshine. It is a light gray color with some yellow and green undertones. I even painted the window casing and also the power outlet. Now let's dive into the design choices that I made to make this multi-function room work. So let's talk about the sofa bed first. I definitely don't want a big size bed taking the majority of the space, so instead I chose a sleeper sofa. I always like to sit on a couch to work, so this actually fits into my office theme pretty well. And when the guests come over, I can open it up and it becomes a full size bed with mattress. When you are buying a sleeper sofa, think about the comfort for both sleeping and sitting. In fact, we had to return our first sleeper sofa because it was kind of hard to sit down. And when we unfolded that it became a bed, it wasn't you know even, so it's just not comfortable. So instead, we chose a pull-out sofa, which has a more flat surface and it's more comfy. And uh, the one and the one we have is from IKEA. It's called Finala in the beige color. I also added a wall sconce in this room so it can serve as a table lamp when people sleep here or as a reading light when I'm reading it and using it as a home office. I used this side table from West Elm that can nest under the sofa. I think that works pretty well and can also be used as a nightstand for the guests. We actually slept in this room for a week when I was painting the window seat for our master bedroom. And by the way, I like to tuck large flat things under the sofa. For example, my cutting mat is really large and also sometimes some large papers. If you have a sofa low to the ground, it is actually a really good spot to hide things. Just make sure that you remember you actually hide things here. So above the sofa, I added a gallery wall. Because this is a home office, so I want it to feel more inspiring and interesting. Most of the prints are collected over the years, and some are from my own print shop that I'll leave a link. Now let's talk about desk, which is essential for a home office. Our space is so limited, so to save space and maximize the home office functions, I decided to do a desk built-in. Um, I push it all the way to the wall and have a lot of drawers. I use two IKEA Alex drawer units and a long tabletop above it. Having a built-in is a great way to add storage while keeping things look more organized and tidy because the built-in just fits the space perfectly. 
I added a custom floating shelf above the desk. Our house is really old, so we weren't able to actually attach the shelf onto the stud. Um, in fact, we have diagonal studs everywhere in the house, which makes it really difficult. So now the shelf mainly serves for decorative purposes. I don't really put a ton of weight on the top. Now move on to the right side, which has a smaller and lower desk to use as a sewing table. And this is because of the space constraint of the window and the closet door on the right. And for the drawer beneath it, I just put my most common sewing tools there. I actually have a video on my desk building, so check it out if you're interested. And now let's talk about the closet in this room. So my closet here serves for two functions. For one, I use it to store my sewing and crafting supplies because I have many hobbies in terms of crafting. I need some space to store them. And when this room is used as a guest room, they are still able to hang their clothes with the rod and also they can use those wooden crates to store their knickknacks. I have a video about this closet sharing my DIY process and all the details. Now I want to talk about other design choices I've made for this space. So instead of using curtains, I chose a more lightweight window shade. This white Roman shade is actually from Pottery Barn. Because I have a gallery wall and lots of things going on in this small space, so I'm trying to keep the shade simple. Um, that's why I just chose the white color. This shade is cordless and has blackout linings. Blackouts are great for bedroom purposes because it blocks the light completely for a good night's sleep. We recently added this light fixture to the space. This light is called a vertical pendant. I love how the vertical lines of this light mimic my vertical shape lap wall in this space. So that's a wrap for my home office tour. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out the other two videos on the desk building and closet. I also have a post that goes with this video that I will link all the sources of this space. I'm hoping to do a full house tour in the near future, but it's really hard to keep my entire house clean at the same time. So before that, I have a mini house tour on my IG story highlights. So check it out if you are interested. If you enjoy watching this video, be sure to like this video or subscribe if you are new. See you next time. Bye.